Hey everyone, this week we changed the name of our channel because it turns out there are 32 other JNR vlogs. However, there are no other channels called Orkwood Yak. If you enjoy what you hear, hit the like button and if you are curious to hear more, hit subscribe. Hello Ross, as you already know, I have had my hands in clay for about 10 years and been a professional potter for the past eight. This past December, I sold my last commission. Since Christmas, I basically just walked away from it. But this week, I started cleaning and packing away my studio, and I went to firebirdceramics.com, my website, and I put up a blog post that said I was done. I also had to take down my contact form there on the website because I was still getting people trying to buy pottery from me. Every time I would tell someone that I no longer am making pottery for sale, everyone exclaims, oh no, why? Like I've announced that I'm getting a divorce and leaving the great love of my life or something. And my easy go-to answer is that pottery is really physically grueling and my body just can't take it anymore. Which is true. The thing is, it has always been physically grueling. The difference is, in the beginning, the joy of it made me able to push through the pain. Also, in the beginning, I was 10 years younger. And that, in a roundabout way, makes me think of the Nun Study. So the Nun Study was started in 1986, when you were but a baby, by epidemiologist David Snowden to study Alzheimer's disease. And the participants in this study were, as you might expect, um, almost 700 um, American Catholic nuns across six convents who are all members of the School Sisters of Notre Dame, a congregation of nuns dedicated to education. The study, which is still ongoing, includes annual physical and cognitive exams, and at the end of their lives, most of the sisters donate their brains to science. The findings from this study are already numerous, but the one that really interests me is about brain lesions. To sum up in small words that even a potter can understand, Typically, if you have a lot of brain lesions caused by a buildup of brain plaque, that translates directly to having advanced Alzheimer's disease. But the nun's brains had the same rate of brain lesions as you might see in the rest of the population. But that didn't actually reflect how far their Alzheimer's disease had progressed, some showing no symptoms at all despite having numerous brain lesions. What the study and others have found is that if you increase your number of neural pathways, you can slow down the effects of Alzheimer's. The problem is, for years now, people have been touting brain games and puzzles to do this. But unfortunately, this doesn't help against brain lesions and Alzheimer's. New neural pathways are made when you learn something new. So doing crossword puzzles, for instance, just uses the knowledge and the pathways that you already have. You're just going down the path you've already made for six-letter word for excitement from hype without charting any new territory. Picture an eight-lane superhighway going through a rural area. It's a great thoroughfare, but if a rock slide closes off that highway, there is no other way to go. But if you have a bunch of other roads, not going from one major city to the next, but from houses to shops to parks to schools, if the highway is blocked, you have lots of alternate routes from which to choose to get around the roadblock and get on your way. So getting back to why I left ceramics, the real reason I stopped was because I was done learning. I know there's a lot of hubris in that, but I had learned everything I wanted to learn. I had made all the pottery I wanted to make. Two years ago this month, I was prepping for my biggest art sale of the year, one which I had done successfully before, and I was having my usual internal dialogue of, I'm not making anything for my own joy, but just what I think people want to buy. Why am I even doing this? And then you texted me. Perfect excuse to procrastinate. You said that you and some gaming friends were going to build your own game, and you wanted to see if my husband wanted to be included. No, you didn't ask me, but I understood why, because you had invited me previously to join your gaming group many times, and I always declined, because I'm not a big gamer, and you knew that. As you explained it more, it sounded really interesting. I checked out the Unity game engine that you were going to use, I started doing tutorials, started bossing you and your friends around, then started learning Blender, and we started Orkwood Games. I had found a new learning curve challenge. I was learning all of these things that probably had a very narrow application and was less interesting to other people than ceramics are, but I was learning and I 
took a church admin job and started learning things about social justice issues. And then the pandemic hit and I needed to learn about live streaming a church service over Zoom. And then we made a whole bunch of games, some of which we released and then unreleased because, well, we're still learning. And not only was I learning a bunch of things, but I was building my confidence to learn even more things and branch out further. And beyond that, I was being pushed to exercise my creativity. Despite the stereotype of the crazy artist, creative people statistically have higher mental health than non-creative people because creativity is a type of problem solving. And boy, has creative problem solving been at the forefront of the past year. So not only have the past two years as I moved away from pottery been helpful possibly for my neurological health, but have also contributed to my mental health. I am crazy happy. So thanks, Ross, for letting me barge into and eventually take over your game building group. It's really improved my life. So now I'm going to sign off and go apply what I've learned recently about video editing. Love ya.